Automatrix N-Track theft recovery operation. It's Friday the 14th of February 2020. Valentine's Day and a lovely day to be out in the UK searching for stolen items today. We've received a phone call from a plant hire company saying they'd had some traffic lights stolen and we sent a signal to put the Automatrix N-Track into alarm and that's connected and reported a sale site in Larnock which is north of the border in Scotland, um, just south of Glasgow. So good, good 300 miles from our office. No GPS, so we're gonna to have to do a radio find. We have actually got two trackers, uh, one obviously in the first set that's in alarm and a second uh, that's not in alarm yet. That's not, that's not due to come in until about six o'clock this evening. Um, the customer didn't realize when he first called us that two sets had been taken. So, but they are looking like they're in the same location um, from a report we had earlier this morning. The radio finder we were going to use locally uh, is not able to attend and we've also got an issue with Storm Dennis uh, approaching the UK um, expecting high winds and stormy weather with lots of rain, possible flooding and uh, in looking at the flights from Southampton and London to Edinburgh or Glasgow um, they all look like they could possibly be delayed by the storm or um, leave us in a situation where we get stranded, which we don't want to happen. So, yep, we've jumped into a vehicle and we're going to drive to the location. It's six hours drive, uh, basically, from Southampton to this cell site location. And we're about two and a half hours in. So we're just south of Birmingham. But it is Friday and there is heavy traffic always on a Friday in the UK on the motorways. So we're gonna maybe get a further delay and with this weather coming in, even maybe more of a delay. We've not recovered a set of traffic lights before. It's the first ones we've had stolen in 12 years that have been protected. They're not worth a lot of money, probably two or 3,000 um, pounds. But, you know, they're difficult to get hold of. They're a pain to order, they're, you know, and the customer wants them back. So that's why he's put the Automatrix N-Track system on his traffic lights. Normally the traffic lights get stolen, they're, they're the small portable traffic lights and they normally get stolen um, because people want the batteries in, in the base of the units. Uh, batteries are worth quite a lot of money, 100, 150 pound, maybe 200 pound for a set of batteries um, from the base of these traffic lights. So it could well be that the traffic lights have been stolen, taken to a quiet area to break them open and then pull out the batteries and then they may have just dumped the electronics of the, the traffic lights on the side of the road. But the customer says if that's the case, then, you know, he, he definitely wants the traffic lights back anyway. Um, he's got nine months to run on his contract and he, he, it'll be difficult for him to get another set of lights. So we're covering all options. Um, like I say, you know, it could be a few, few hours. It's definitely going to be dark and it's going to be stormy and uh, we're going to have a hell of a challenge on our hands this evening. Maybe at, at half past six when the second Automatrix N-Track comes into alarm, we'll get a GPS fix, um, all being well. Maybe that's been fitted in a different location inside the traffic lights and that GPS fix will be given to Police Scotland and they can go to the location, find the set of traffic lights, maybe some, find the second set of traffic lights as well and then we can turn around and head, head home. So that's, that's maybe an option, but we don't know yet. So I've just taken a call from the office, it's 20 past six. Um, second Automatrix n tracks in alarm on the stolen traffic lights. And uh, same sort of story, no GPS coming through. So it's either in a lockup or maybe they fit this tracker in a position where the GPS is too difficult to come through. So both trackers are in alarm, but we've still got best part of two hours to go before we get to this location. We're just sort of going through Manchester area uh, yeah, 20 past six. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those units into a sort of like a sleep cycle um, so they're not using any of the battery or anything like that. It's just gone quarter past nine. Um, both units are in alarm and we're about two miles from the search site at Larnock. Um, the roads are pretty quiet. Uh, didn't have too much traffic coming up and there's, the storm hasn't hit yet, so we're okay. Um, roof antenna's on the car and we're just ready to go.
It's actually quite rural at this location, but um, we will be coming into the town and uh, let's hope it's in the town. We pick it up straight away. We're going over some sort of river here. Just pulled over for a few minutes, um, waiting for office to give me an update on some of the cell site locations. Um, it's just approaching half past 11 at night, so I've been driving around about two hours in Larnack and um, we've we've not been able to pick up the RF in town. So we're just sort of coming to the outside now and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll pick it up. All right, we're up quite high here. I might have just picked up the signal there. Definitely got the signal, but we've only got one bleat. Right, we lost the signal, we're gonna to have to turn round. I'll try down this road here. Kirkfield Road. This definitely seems like we're getting louder. Oh, we're getting louder now. Vans, there's a couple of vans there. We'll go up a bit further. Ah, oh, we're losing it. Lost it again. Go back. I think it could be in uh, one of those two vans there. There's two vans in that car park outside the flats there. Just turning it down a bit. Wow, That's going to be in one of those vans, probably more likely that old white banged out transit there. Lima Sierra 10 Victor Papa Juliet. Right, I'm not going to get out right now, but um, I'm pretty sure it's in that van and probably need to get the police here. Thank you for calling 101. We're connecting you to Police Scotland. If you require an alternative force, press hash. Good evening, Police Scotland. How can I help you? I've located these stolen traffic lights in the back of a white transit van. All right. Uh, I'm in Kirkfield Road in Lanark. ML, it's M Mike Lima 11. Uh-huh. 9 Juliet Lima. Okay, 
Okay, one second and I'll just pop the incident on for you, okay? There's actually two sets of stolen lights. Obviously, this is the first one to attend and then I need to get on and find okay. the second one. No, but that's fine, that's fine, one second. 4399. Yep. And then today's date. Today's date is the uh, 14th of February. Lovely day, yeah. I've got the equipment in the car, but the other thing I think you should take down is the transit registration. Yeah, you give me that. ML 119 Juliet Lima. No, that's my postcode. Oh. <laughs> oh sorry, I... <laughs> No, no, that's the postcode of Kirkfield Road, Larnock. Sorry, okay, sorry. Transit's probably stolen. Yeah, okay, VRM of the transit is... Lima Sierra 10. Mm-hmm. Yankee Papa Juliet. Yankee Papa Juliet, and that's lovely. It might be false plates, but... Um... Right, okay. Well, I'll pop that on a good. Now, if we do phone you, Richard, on your mobile, it'll come up as a withheld or a private number, all right? Okay, have you got any idea how long I'll have to Unfortunately, wait? Unfortunately, no. I don't send them out, Richard, but I will mention that you've got another set to track. Is it in the near, is it near about, is it in the same area or is it Yeah, it's still, no, it's still in Lanark, yeah, so... Um, all right. I need to stay here really until the officers come so we can get this uh -huh. one secure because if this drives off we might lose it so yeah yeah um and obviously yeah i, I have been on the go since half, <laughs> half past yeah. two so have, feel pity for me will you <laughs> give me <yourself> some <laughs> the company i work for automatrix we're a, we're a secure by design police preferred partner so right, you, okay. you're definitely going to get a result here you know there's no two yeah. ways about it all no, right then, okay. All right then, cheers, thanks, bye, 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 bye. bye. Okay, uh, no confirmation of what time. I'm sort of in a bit of a di dilemma now. Do I, you know, uh, wait here? I don't really want to wait here for three hours. I'd rather get and find the other set of traffic lights. Um, we've got a motion sensor attached to this tracker, so if they do move it, um, it's going to go. But maybe we give it half an hour before we go off and search just going to go off and try and find the second uh, tracker um, it may it may be in there but it's not bleeping uh, if it is in the back of that van I don't think it's in there I think it's somewhere else because we've never known a, a RF beacon not work so um, yeah uh, well I was just going to go off and, and find the second one um, but the police called me back so said they were going to send some officers here straight away which is absolutely brilliant well done Police Scotland, get in there. And uh, I've just got to hang around here and then the next thing, the police will be here. So yeah, I, I hopefully they'll be able to open up the back of that van and we'll see if, if both sets of traffic lights are in there or not. Cracking. Here we go. No, it's a taxi. Come on, Police Scotland. It's a car coming. Yeah, that's the police. So I don't know what you've got. Oh, this is the van, I think it's in this white one here. But... Probably fine if you undo that door. That would probably undo that slide, that door. I don't know if you've got. I know. Probably just stuff. Open the doors. You got. If you've got any gloves or anything. Uh, Aye. I see if it's open. Uh, okay. There's actually two sets of lights that have been stolen, but and we've got two sets of trackers. Happy days. <laughs> Good Not stuff, eh? Hey? Yeah. So what do you do from here on in? Do you just let them know? Uh, well, the thing is now, this is obviously, um, these are going to be need, need to be recovered yeah. for the customer and then they're collecting tomorrow or whatever. Uh, but let's just turn this off. Don't need any more, do we? Perfectly, I've got the serial numbers on an email in the car. I managed to gain access to the, the van. The rear entry side door was uh, slightly ajar and unlocked and then the traffic lights are inside and um, we're just lazing with the... The, uh, Normally the transits are nicked as well, so I don't, it's worth... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, but look, they've got something over the VIN number there. Look, it's probably a wrong wrong plate. So yeah, yeah, that's covering the VIN. And the... Yeah, it, you need to take the VIN now. It's got five three eight ends. Oh, I don't know. Can't quite see there. Here, you have a look. Probably false plates. Five three eight. Five three. Yeah. <laughs> we, we had a wee, we had a wee thing covering it for us. <laughs> it's open. It's so. convenient that, eh? <laughs> They'd normally they just check the last five against that index and... Okay, you can do a chassis number check to... to yeah. Can you do that at the control room? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chassis number check, mate, and then compared to what that comes back to us, but I can't... Yeah, you... Probably yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not taking much of a gamble there. Go ahead. I <laughs> know. Check the serial numbers. And it's got a pike on there anyway, so... See if there's anything of any interest. Oh look, someone's bought their girlfriend some Valentine's flowers. <laughs> I wonder if there's a receipt. <laughs> I would have got away with it. One for your flowers. <laughs> So that's a fraud. <laughs> oh, it definitely don't match, yeah? Yeah, aye, the yeah. number doesn't match. Them. No, okay. Okay, so there's a stolen transit. What's it the front meter? What's it the There's a hammer there. Nasty. Weapon. Weapon. Definite weapon. That's a nasty hammer in the front there. Yeah, we've seen that there though. Yeah, I'm glad. Didn't back get out. Eh? Yeah. Is the back slightly different for the front door? No, no, it matches. Oh, it matches? Alright. Oh. That's not just been put on. No, those screws have been done ages ago, haven't they? This has yeah. probably been stolen for ages, this thing. Dirty plate, isn't it? Well, it gives us something easy to recover it in. You just tow away the whole transit, I suppose, now, do you? <laughs> you tow away the whole transit now, you don't even have to get the lights out, do you? No. <laughs> Because they would have had to come out otherwise, wouldn't they? But, uh. That's the thing, it'll, it'll, that's like they'll park that up here in case somebody like yourself comes out. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, yeah, <laughs> maybe. That's what they do in case there's any trackers, they do the same thing with cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll park them up somewhere like that. Aye, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it must be somebody in there. No, it's, not. no, it's, it's nothing probably, to do with them, no. They probably know that they've got, as you say, did you just say it there? They've probably got the trackers, they've got stolen cars, they'll park it up somewhere, leave it for a couple of days, see if anybody wants it. That's yeah, interesting, that they've got a siphon thing there, look, like, diesel siphons, can you see? Siphon yeah. hose. Right, so we can get these on here. Or petrol, anyway. You, you, you have DNA all over the gums of that. <laughs> <laughs> right. There's a fuel cap. There's a fuel cap in there, I know. Seen it a little bit ago. Where is it? Oh, that's the keys there, is it? There's a fuel cap there. Right. What are those keys there then? No, I don't know. It's, it's an empty wee wallet thing. Mm. Set the light. Skeleton keys. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, it's funny how the, uh, the 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 radios the radio lights on. Why, why is that on then? I don't know. Don't normally have a radio yeah. on like that. Yeah. <laughs> Quite. There's a lighter there. <laughs> I think it's been there since at least six six o'clock this morning, or the morning of the fourteenth mm. of February. So the transit's stolen as well, um, or it's on false plates. So it's definitely dodgy. And there was a there was a hammer in there. Right, there's a, there's a second set now I've got to go and find. But what? Well, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> right. it, uh, what it, well, they're in Lanark. 
Oh, but they're it's on a different phone mask because what I do is I drive I drive to the phone mask Roger. location oh, and then I use a roof aerial on the car oh, right, okay. to pick up the signal. And as soon as I get it, then I can use the handheld yeah. as well. So it's a bit of a so it's probably going to take me another 45 minutes or half hour to find that one. I'll just call it in when I find it, I suppose. Right, shall I get off and try and find this other one then? Uh, and aye, aye, that's yeah. right. Aye, we'll take it from uh, you'll just take that, recover that, get the, recover the whole van now, I yes. guess. Yeah, and that'll just get taken to a depot and then it'll just... All right. Are you guys on all night? or are you yeah. not? All right, so you might come and find, come and sort me we'll out. Probably, yeah. aye, we'll probably be... Yeah. All right, then. I'll, I'll catch you a bit later. Okay, thanks. thanks. Cheers. <sighs> that's a good result. So they came really quick. I've got to go find the other one now. Unbelievable. I can't believe they weren't together. But, well, let's go for the second one. We had two police vehicles there. Uh, they turned up in 10 minutes. Brilliant. Well done, Police Scotland. Um, one lot, one van's going to stay there and they're going to tow that away. Uh, normally I'd film it, but I want to get on and try and find this other set of traffic lights, which is also in this town somewhere. So we, we need to home in on that one and uh, crack on. now quarter past three in the morning uh, gone all the way around Larnock the signal's not there so what I did is went onto the second phone cell um, which has given us a postcode a few miles well, about four or five miles away from Larnock and um, headed towards there and I've picked up the RF so um, that's great so should just be a few minutes now just driving around this little town now and we should should find it cracking I wonder what that is. 10 to four in the morning, right. We found the second set of traffic lights on the road there. So either they've been nicked, sold, and um, someone else is using them, or the plant I was hired out to has, has moved them without someone knowing and called them stolen. There's probably been a cock up somewhere. We'll just get out and have a look at these and use the handheld and see what the hell's going on. Yeah, that's the same kit, isn't it? 52B. And the other one must be out there somewhere, so... Still, we found them. A bit. <laughs> I don't think they've been stolen. I think they've just been moved by the contractors and the customer didn't know, so he's reported them stolen. But they're actually a few miles from Larnock. So, automatic send track, traffic lights found cracking.